15 Signs You Have Genius Level Intelligence 1. You prefer to spend time alone, rather than with a noisy group. Intelligent people don't need to hang around a large group of friends to have fun. Research conducted by Satoshi Kanazawa and Norman Lee, titled How Intelligence, Population Density, and Friendship Affect Modern Happiness, reveals that smart people enjoy alone time, while interacting with other people would probably wear them out than give them a sense of pleasure or excitement. Highly intelligent people tend to be very individualistic, according to Deepankar Trahan. What's fascinating is that smarter individuals seem to acquire less satisfaction than most from socializing, according to a recent study conducted by the British Journal of Psychology. Intelligent people have also been observed to talk to themselves, and this should be seen as an indication of advanced intelligence and not madness, as most people tend to think. 2. You learned how to read at a young age The fact that some kids learn how to read at a young age doesn't automatically make them smart. Conversely, British scientists Timothy C. Bates, Robert Plowman, and Stuart J. Ritchie believe that reading in itself makes kids smarter. It's rather straightforward that the earlier you learned your ABCs, the more books you were able to read and the wider your horizons are. This applies mostly to those whose reading experience is diverse and not limited to and not restricted to only one particular author or genre. A 2012 study looking at close to 2,000 sets of twins in the United Kingdom showed that the twin who learned how to read earlier tended to score higher on cognitive ability tests. 3. You're an older sibling Older siblings tend to be smarter, but some studies show that it's not because of genetics. Norwegian epidemiologists used military records to examine the birth order, health status, and IQ scores of roughly 250,000 men aged 18 and 19 from the years 1967 through 1976. The results showed that the average firstborn had an IQ of 103, compared to 100 for the second and 99 for thirdborns. The New York Times reported that the new discoveries from a major study published in 2007 revealed that eldest children had a small but significant advantage when it comes to IQ, an average three points more than the closest sibling. And it was found that the difference was not because of biological factors, but the psychological interplay of parents and children. For this reason and others, firstborns tend to be more successful, but not by much, than their siblings. However, it's worth noting that Dmitry Mendeleev was the youngest of 17 brothers and sisters. But this didn't keep him from creating the periodic table of elements and leaving his mark in history. 4. You took music lessons Studies suggest that music plays a good role in the development of the minds of children. A 2011 study showed that scores on a verbal intelligence test among kids between 4 and 6 years old significantly rose after only a month of music lessons. A 2013 study, also led by Glenn Schellenberg, gave the impression that high-achieving kids were the ones most likely to take music lessons. So, in simpler terms, musical training may only enhance cognitive differences that were already present. 5. You often feel anxious and are inclined to panic Oregon Tal and Sachi Ein Dar, psychologists from the Interdisciplinary Center in Herzliya, Israel, conducted a study in which they confirmed that intelligent people are more prone to pessimism as they came up with several unpleasant situations that can happen to them in their heads. They argue that intellectuals get to analyze events from the past and accordingly pay better attention to similar events in the future. Smart people are better prepared for possible challenges in life, while on the downside, they're forced to live with constant stress. 6. You're left-handed Left-handedness used to be associated with criminal acts, and researchers are still uncertain as to why there are slightly more left-handed people among the criminal world. More recent studies have related left-handedness with divergent thinking, a form of creativity that gives way to coming up with novel ideas promptly, at least among men. New Yorker reporter Maria Konnikova, in her 1995 review, wrote that the more marked a left-handed preference in a group of males, the better they were at tests of divergent thought. The study also showed that left-handed people were more adept, for example, at integrating two objects in novel ways to form a third. For instance, a tin can and a pail could be used to make a birdhouse. They also excelled at grouping words into as many alternate categories as possible. 7. You're a night owl According to research, the smarter you are, the more inclined you are to stay up into the wee hours of the night. A study published in the journal Personality and Individual Difference sought after the connection between childhood IQ and sleep habits among thousands of young adults. Interestingly enough, smarter individuals mentioned that they stayed up later and woke up later on both weekdays and weekends. 
Another study published in the Journal of the International Society for the Study of Individual Differences found that when all variables are factored out, night owls tend to beat early birds in terms of intellect. The study came up with the conclusion that ethnographic evidence shows that nocturnal activities were rarer in the ancestral environment. That means that smarter people are more likely to stay up late because intelligent individuals are more likely to espouse evolutionary novel values. 8. You worry a lot Geniuses aren't the most laid-back individuals, owing to the questions and thoughts rolling through their minds. A majority of us can just brush off random existential questions, but intellectuals can't do that. They overanalyze every minute detail, which can be emotionally exhausting. Research suggests that anxious people may be smarter than others in certain ways. In a certain study, for example, scientists asked 126 graduates to fill out a questionnaire in which they indicated how frequently they got worried. They also revealed how often they contemplate or continuously think about the aspects of the situations that upset them, as reported in Psychology Today by psychologist Dr. Edward Selby. 9. You're Curious Psychology professor Tomas Chamorro Premuzic in the Harvard Business Review explained how the curiosity quotient and having a hungry mind makes one more inquisitive. In regards to the significance of CQ, he wrote that it has not been thoroughly studied, as both EQ and IQ but there is evidence that suggests that it's just as important when it comes to managing complexity in two major ways. Firstly, people with higher CQ are overall more tolerant of ambiguity. This nuanced, sophisticated, subtle way of looking at things defines the very essence of complexity. Secondly, CQ leads to higher levels of intellectual investment and knowledge acquisition over time, especially in formal domains of education, such as art and science. This is different from IQ's measurement of raw intellectual horsepower. A study conducted by the University of London found that intellectual investment, or how people invest their time and effort in their intellect, plays a huge role in cognitive growth. 10. You're Messy The University of Minnesota Carlson School of Management's Dr. Kathleen Vos published a study in the Psychological Science that revealed that working in an untidy room actually fuels creativity. In the study, participants were asked to come up with strange uses for a ping-pong ball. The 24 who worked in clustered rooms came up with substantially more creative responses than the individuals who work in neater rooms. So if you're a pack rat, tell everyone you're just fueling your sense of creativity and innovation the next time someone tells you to clean up your act. 11. You're overly sensitive to sounds Chips crunching, creaking floors, and even a person's loud breathing are just some of the common daily noises that can be distracting to those with a high IQ. Researchers from the University of Helsinki conducted a study which showed a strong link between the ability of a person to find unconventional solutions to problems and the inability to ignore ambient noises. There's even a real diagnosis for such a condition, known as misophony, and those affected show changes in brain activity when, for example, someone crunches chips behind them. 12. You're slim In a 2006 study, scientists handed out nearly 2,200 adults intelligence tests over a period of five years and the results suggested that the bigger the waistline, the lower the cognitive ability. Another study published in that same year revealed that 11-year-olds who scored lower on verbal and nonverbal tests were more likely to be overweight in their 40s. The study authors mentioned that smarter children would have pursued better educational opportunities, landed higher-paying jobs, and therefore ended up in a much better position to take care of themselves than their less intelligent counterparts. A more recent study found that among preschoolers, a lower IQ is connected to a higher BMI, the researchers also claim that environmental factors are at play, since the association between the BMI and smarts was balanced by socioeconomic status. 13. You were breastfed Babies who are breastfed might grow up to be smarter kids when they grow up, according to research conducted in 2007. In two studies, scientists looked at more than 3,000 kids in New Zealand and Britain. Those who were breastfed scored nearly 7 points higher on an IQ test, but only if they had a particular version of the FADS2 gene. The researchers noted in their findings that further research would be required to figure out the mechanism of the relationship between FADS2, breastfeeding, and IQ. 14. You've used recreational drugs A study carried out in 1958 of more than 6,000 Brits found a link between high IQ in childhood and the use of illegal substances in adulthood. Researchers Catherine R. Gale, David Batty, and Jones W. White wrote that in a large population-based cohort study, IQ at 11 years was associated with the larger likelihood of using certain illegal drugs 31 years later. They concluded that unlike most other studies on the relationship between childhood IQ and health later on, a high childhood IQ may bring about the adoption of behaviors that are potentially harmful to health, such as excessive alcohol intake and drug use in adulthood. 15. You're funny. Highly intelligent people tend to have a great sense of humor. 
In one study, 400 psychology students took intelligence tests that measured verbal intelligence and abstract reasoning abilities. They were later asked to come up with captions for several New Yorker cartoons, which were reviewed by independent raters. And as expected, the smarter students were rated as funnier. Another study they ran suggested that professional comedians scored higher than average on measures of verbal intelligence. So if you find that you easily crack up a room full of people, chances are you have genius level intelligence. Well, that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and found value in the video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and consider subscribing for more value-packed videos. With that said, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.